Now that October is here, a lot of hunters out there might be thinking it's time to just hang it up and wait till November. But in all honesty, October is my second favorite time to hunt. The only time that beats it, in my opinion, is the first two weeks of November. We can argue all day long whether or not the October lull is real, but there is still plenty of opportunity out there to fill your tags throughout the entire month of October. You just have to change up your tactics. So in this video, we're gonna go over three tips to help you minimize this perceived October lull so you can still productively hunt. But before we get into the tips, do me a favor, and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And the first tip to hunting this October lull is you have to be mobile. The truth about the October lull is that the activity hasn't shut down, it's just moved. At the beginning of October, deer start to shift away from those lush food plots and start wandering the woods looking for acorns. If you don't know where the prime locations are, it could seem like there are no deer in the county. But there are plenty of funnels and pinch points out there that will concentrate that deer movement, the mass migration of deer looking for acorns. You just have to know what they are, where they are, and how to get to them without alerting deer. You absolutely need to be hunting in the woods in October, especially if there is a good crop of acorns. But you got to be careful about it. Don't blindly rush into your best stands, even if the conditions aren't right, or you just don't have any other places set up to go to. Have multiple stands or multiple locations picked out around pinch points and funnels in the woods so you can hunt no matter what the conditions are. The key to having success during the October lull, this perceived drop in activity, is you have to be out there hunting where they are. You just have to be smart about it. And the second tip to having a successful October is to wait for a cold front. Cold fronts, regardless of what part of the season they happen in, are highly productive times to hunt. They get deer up on their feet and moving around, and you have to be out there to take advantage of it. Now, like I've already said, that doesn't mean rush right out to the woods and hunt your best spot regardless of the conditions. Again, you got to be smart about it. You got to have multiple options that you could go to, and preferably it's near a good crop of acorns. Weather and daytime deer activity is inversely related, which means as temperature drops, daytime deer activity goes up. And as temperature goes up, daytime activity goes down. That's why when there is a sudden drop in temperature, there is a sudden rise in daytime deer activity and you need to be out there in the woods to ride that wave and that's why being mobile or being able to adjust to the conditions is so important if a good cold front pushes through but you don't have a spot picked out or a tree stand available for that wind direction and you stubbornly go into your best spot you can mess up that stand for a good while and the third tip to beating the october lull is to find good acorn sources now, I don't know if you've been keeping count, but I've mentioned acorns a few times already, and you should know by now that they are key to beating this October lull. Hopefully, you did some scouting beforehand, and you know where the good white oaks are that are producing acorns. I know you put in a lot of work on some good food plots, but right now, acorns are king. Deer prefer white oak acorns over red oak acorns, so if you have found a productive group of trees, you need to be sure you've marked it somehow, because this is where you need to set up. You can tell a white oak from a red oak by its leaves and bark. If there are still leaves on the trees, which there should be this time of year unless that tree is dead, red oaks have more jagged and sharp angles to their leaves, while red oaks have more rounded, smoother edges. Right now the leaves are changing, so you can use that to help you distinguish between the two from a distance. Red oaks will have that awesome change in color going from red to orange to brown that we associate so much with fall. White oaks, though, they just kind of turn brown and die. The bark on red oaks are kind of smooth with shallow grooves. White oaks have more chunkier, deeper grooves to their bark. Learn to identify between these two trees pretty quickly because they will help you get on deer faster than just about anything else. And if you are not good at being able to look at trees and identify them, you can always use a book that you can bring out into the field with you, or you can use this app called Picture This. You just take a picture of the tree or the leaf or whatever it is, and it will go through a database and tell you within a pretty good accuracy what it is. So that was three tips to help you beat this mythical October lull. If you have any more tips, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video, share it if you found it helpful, and make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay informed.